It's Bourbonite. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And you are getting ready to see what normally only our patrons get to see. But every so often we get a wild hair and we're like, you know what? Let's put this out there. Let's make it public so you guys can see it. And, you know, maybe you'll consider becoming a patron. Sure. We also talked about it a lot in the episode. So it right. felt like a real tease. A to real, not... That's basically the antithesis of this going we public, have to, I feel like we have to give it to you. We can't just right. dangle the carrot. So here Too you go. Too much carrot dangling. So another round is a perk that you get uh, at a certain level with our Patreon. Patreon, also, you get access to our barrel picks. Sure. You can go on barrel picks. If mm -hmm. anyone who comes on a barrel pick with us is a patron, uh, there's... Of a certain level. Of a certain level. Um, there's, disclaimers and asterisks. There's uh, disclaimers and asterisks. There's lots of different uh, benefits and perks to being a Patreon member with us. So uh, this being one of them, if you do want to support a mom and pop operation here. This we is- We don't have children. Uh, no, a mom, it's just like a mom and pop We store. do have a dog. Uh, we do have a dog. It is uh, one of the best ways to support us is to become a patron. So here you go. Here is what is normally reserved for Patreon only. Here is another round. It's another round with Chad and Sarah. The show with 50% more Chad and Sarah. How is it 50% more? Uh, new and improved. We would, okay, sure. We have already poured uh, the glass that is in front of it. So yes. That's what we're working with. So we got the, the gym beam. There are no James here, Zara. No, there's not. We're doing what we promised in the episode, which is comparing the Hardens Creek mm -hmm. uh, Colonel James B. Beam. Comparing that to... Jim Beam Bonded, which is mm -hmm. 100 proof, and of course, at least four years. Could be a little older, but they don't say it. So a little older than this, but also a little... Young or a little less proof. A, hundred, <laughs> a little older, but a also little, a little younger. You know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. A uh, hundred proof, so eight proof points lower, but a little uh -huh. older. And in this corner, we have the exact same proof. This is the Jim Beam Single Barrel uh, Selected Batch. This is 108 proof. It is unfiltered. We like it. And no age statement, but it's not two years because. That's the first time, you know, Again, I would even assume, Jim Beam White Label is four years, right? I would so. assume it's at least four years, but my guess is it's probably five to six. How much does this cost? How much is that doggy in the window? Is I thought what you were going to say. Do you want to tell me how much this costs? <laughs> That's how we talk to our dog, by the way. Uh, the Bonded is going to be around $22. The last time we purchased one. Uh, this is going to be around $27, $28. I was going to say. Yeah. So both That's sub under 30. 30 in our area. 80 bucks. $80. So that's a lot. On the wings here is this guy. Yes. Let's get this back on our palate. Okay. Two year old 108 proof. Still, buttered corn. I like buttered corn. You know, this or is. Or like really good cornbread. I like cornbread. Yeah. But that's I... not really how I want my bourbon to taste. Continue. <laughs> well, I was just going to say that, you know, we've had, we've had young stuff places, and this just does not come off young. It doesn't come off old no. <laughs> by any stretch, but it doesn't come off young. There's no graininess, I think, that, that we get in mm -hmm. youth of uh, like some real craft distilleries. It's grain forward, corn forward. Corn forward, but not grain forward. Like, I don't know, just grit, that grittier, grittier. Green? Does that make sense? I guess. Hmm. It's corn forward. It could pass as a four year. Because it's if, not super harsh, the mouthfeel's not so aggressive, yeah. right? It feels a little more polished than a two year. If I were a bouncer and this gave me its ID and it said four years, I'd be like, all right, come on in. I like that analogy. Okay. Put that on your label. Okay, so we got that on our palate. Let's go. Uh, Let's go here first. All right. Lower proof. So we're going lower proof. <laughs> you tell me what you think. Maybe a little thinner. Well, yes, slightly thinner because it's eight proof points lower. Maybe some more sharp edges, not as polished, I don't think, more as this one Jim is. More Jim Beamy. More Jim Beamy. Does it warrant a, what is it, $60 difference? $55 well, difference? No. No! <laughs> if that's what you were here to find out. No! But this is on the shelf all the time, and this is on the shelf only sometimes, or almost never. <laughs> Does that mean you should freak out and buy this? I don't know. Again, that's up to you. That's I think, up to you. I think this is more it's of a, a collector's choice. bottle. Let's it's put this leather strap. Between you, your family, and your doctor. <laughs> Come on. I mean, yeah, this is solid. I've always liked Jim Beam Bonded, you know, for what it is, for the price. I really feel like they're 
lower price products get a lot of hate because well people see the Jim Beam label and they just think it's a working man's drink. It's that that's that blue collar. Ain't stuff. nothing wrong with that. Uh, <laughs> it's because so many of you all out there, and I'm not pointing at you. I'm pointing at the person behind you. Got trashed on uh, Jim some Beam type of label. some type of Jim Beam in college. So you just can't smell it without having that visceral reaction. I think I, I think a lot of the problem of Jim Beam being so popular and lower priced, that's what happens. So is people buy it because it's popular and it's inexpensive. Do you think that's why they're migrating a lot of their stuff to James B. Beam instead of Jim Beam I, to kind of break I or do. create a separation of... Hmm. Uh, let me twirl my mustache for a second. Pre-22 and post-22 years old. I do, but also, why, when they already have Knob Creek, which the layman doesn't even know is made by Jim Beam, and Booker's, which, again, they don't know. I don't know. They just want it all. They want a reason to charge $80 for this Have their cake this and eat it, too. Every, I don't know. Okay, let's move on. All right. We have a lot of things to cover. We're going to cover... This comparison, we also decided that we're going to do the Jacob's Well versus the Bardstown Collection release, which was $200. I mean, going back from the bonded to the two-year, there's a lot of similarities that I didn't get the other way. There are a lot of That's similarities. That's one thing you, you guys got to know. Going from here to there, but then go from there to here. Because This stuff. is why we like Science. to do comparisons. Science. I'm interested to see, because I think this two-year at this lower... Um, distillation point pulled mm -hmm. to go into the barrel, which is what M Mictors does, if I'm not I'm, I'm incorrect. Entry, barrel entry proof? I think it's keeping the mouthfeel a little bit more elevated than this. Mm. Um, and I'm interested to see when we compare the single barrel, if that hmm. maintains. So here we go. Right, right, right. And you know, also, just another thing to, to wax poet poetically about is, it's not, age isn't everything. It's also barrel selection. So these two years could have been selected from the center cut of the warehouse, you know, the best two year barrels that they had. Whereas this, everything in the kitchen sink probably gets thrown into the many, many, many hundreds of barrels of batch. They're less selective. Um, Is hello. That, I know. I was trying not to say anything. Again, a little hotter on the finish. Um, but, it drinks a little higher proof, don't you think? Well, first of all, it's got the Jim Beaminess. Okay, so it it's got the nuttiness. It's got a pretty decent mouthfeel, to be very honest with you. It's a surprise. I have always liked this product. I think it's a sleeper. And we haven't revisited we this we in, haven't a, in, talked a, about it in a long time. In a while. Okay, this under $30, the value flag planted. It's the MVP. There we go, that's a flag. Now, mouthfeel wise, I'm still liking this one better. Marginally. Overall package? Okay. I gotta go here. Once again, this one is slightly more polished, especially when it comes to the finish. This has a bit more burn, if we're being honest. It has a bit more burn. This has a smoother, more approachable thing going on. It has a more viscous mouthfeel. I still wouldn't call it great. It's just comparatively. All right, so obviously we're saying... This is the definite value. That's not any big surprise. <clears throat> Again, this isn't bad. Let's roll on to the uh, the aged stuff here, huh? Wanna do that? Yeah, I think it's just, you know, in summary, it's hard to advocate for this when this exists, right? Right. Right, all right. This is the part of another round where we get another round. That's why it's called that. All right, so if you're not familiar with this bottle, don't <laughs> worry, it was very limited. Um, this is the Barge Sound Humble Collection. Brag. No, we were lucky enough to be invited to the unveiling of this, and that's how we got the bottles. Otherwise, Otherwise we, no we chance. would not have this. No chance. So the Bar Sound Collection came out last year. It was a collaboration of five distilleries in Bar Sound. Uh, this year... They're going to do more. They're going to do more. That's Wait, the was plan. that in 2022 or 2021? So it came out in January of this year. So mm. these are eligible for Best of 2021. That's right, that's right. 2022. What year am I? 2022. Um, so next year, there will be even more distilleries involved with this. And uh, we'll see. So anyway, this is the James B. Beam. Uh, it's 109 proof. Oh, one proof point higher. Also 15 years. One proof point higher. Also, $10 higher. Also a blend of their two mash bills, Old Granddad and the Jim Beam mash bill. This was definitely testing the waters. Confirmed. It's $200, but 
every bottle from every distillery was $200. So they didn't set this price, mm -mm. $200 across the board. We're gonna get the uh, Jacob's Well back on the palate. Mm, good nose. Still very oaky, still kind of smoky. Char and things. <laughs> Artichokey. It tastes more Jim Beamy to me this time. Nope. Maybe because I've been running the gambit of the other ones, It never but... didn't taste Jim Beamy to me. But less so than But not like stuff. slap you in the face with the normal like peanut butteriness. There you go. Just very oak forward. It tastes like an old Knob Creek to me. Now Sarah is tasting the Bardstown Collection 109 proof, 15 year again. Uh, from from Freddie Noah himself, this is a 50-50 blend together of the OGD mash bill and the Jim Beam mash bill. The noses are yeah. almost identical. In fact, let's roll that interview. So for our release at the James B. Beam Distilling Company, I pulled together a couple of barrels uh, from a, another project I was working on for Little Book. You know, I taste a lot of whiskey uh, in preparation for creating the next batch. I earmarked these barrels for something I might use. When the opportunity came up to work on this Bargetown collection, um, it was a no-brainer to kind of set these barrels aside. I thought they would work very well together. Uh, both of them being 15 years old, uh, one from the old granddad mash bill and one from our family recipe of the Jim Beam mash bill. Uh, obviously two barrels pulled together at, at right at 50%. Um, and I think you get a very nice uh, blend of some nice fruity notes um, followed up with a lot of notes from that, that 15 year coming in and out of that wood. So very oaky, uh, very complex bourbon and, and very fitting for honoring the, the city and town that I grew up in. So. In my opinion, these are the same. This one isn't as oaky and smoky. It is tweaked slightly. <laughs> yeah. I'd say it's a 98% match. This one is a touch darker and oakier, a touch. The thing is, is like with the Bardstown collection, they're not guaranteed to one, participate next year, but two, do the same thing. Oh, it'll definitely be different next year. Like whatever they, if they participate next oh, yeah. year, they will do something else. Those are so similar. So either, either, they already planned on doing this and they wanted to test the water, so they used the DNA of this bottle plus one proof point in here <laughs> uh -huh. to see how it went, or uh -huh. they had extra or whatever. Or they put this bottle out, it was received so well that they were like, let's do a Hardin's Creek release that is basically that, but let's drop it to 108 proof because that's what the other one is, or that's what a lot of things are that we well, release. Well, I'll tell you this on the record, of the five bottles from the Bar Sound Collection, this was our second favorite. Second favorite. Second favorite. Behind, Barstow Bourbon Company. Okay, we gotta call ourselves out here though, Chad. Yeah. When we tried this, we advocated for it at that price point. We did. We said the Bardstown batch and this one. We advocated for them at that we price sure point. We sure did, you are right, Sarah. And then here it is in a different bottle, different package, and we're like, I don't know if it's worth the price. You are correct. So how do you, how do you dissect that information? What do you make of that? What the hell is that? He doesn't want to talk about it. <laughs> you have to talk about it. You um, gotta own up. We gotta own up to this. Why did we? Perception. I'm gonna. I I'm think gonna. It is perception. I'm gonna we fell for it. Give it to perception. Super limited. Five distilleries. You know, working on this. This is mm. their thing. It's their two mash bills put together. Hasn't happened before. Two hundred dollars, just like all the other ones. This is our second favorite of the five. It's like, yeah, it's worth two hundred dollars. Benefits charity. Benefits charity. Now this That's guy what got over me. this guy over here. It's like this <clears throat> is a fifteen year that it's like the Knob Creek. You know, picks that we used to have. Until, Nobody said that except me. Until we <laughs> <laughs> did the kibosh on that. We we're like, ah, cash grab. Yeah, I think perception really got us here. Perception did get us here, but yeah. I will say for me, I think the reasoning behind the Bardstown collection that got me on board with both the Bardstown bottle and this bottle was they were good products, overpriced admittedly, but we said the proceeds went to charity. Right, 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 right. And right. I can get on board with that. If we're looking to satisfy collectors and support charity and mm -hmm. drink good bourbon, mm -hmm. this is the center of that Venn diagram. Yeah. These were. Right, right, right. This one does not have those things. Um, it, it has two have the of the leather three. Strap. It has two of the three of those Venn diagram things. Okay. And then that for us was not enough. Right. Um, okay. So I think that was the justification. <laughs> what an emotional roller coaster of a ride, everybody. Uh, thanks for coming along with us on this. Um, on this another round. On this another round. Uh, thank you, Patreon. We've definitely had other rounds. We, uh, 
we love y'all. You're making this uh, this dream work with all of your teamwork. And for those of you who are just here from the public, thanks for joining us. And maybe you'll consider joining for this type of content. Who knows? No pressure. No pressure. This is just a peek behind the curtain. There you go. Yeah. See if you like it. Some of the stuff that we do on another round. Mm. All right, everybody. We'll see you later. And bye-bye.